What's going on YouTube? It's your boy BXD King and I'm back with another video. And tonight guys, we got a special one for y'all. No kizzy. Now usually, I make it all about D. But tonight, we about to get right. No kizzy. Y'all see the title. So before this video start, I need y'all to like, comment, share, and subscribe, bruh. No kizzy, bruh. BXDK. And we'll be back. No cavity cap, cap, cap. All right, guys. So Clarissa is getting prepared to make these stuffed peppers. Mm -hmm. This is my first time doing it. All right. So they won't want it to show everything because it's <laughs> yeah. So I got the peppers and we picked the yellow, orange, and green one. And the red it's only one red one because the other red one he got was kind of flat and I couldn't cut it to sit sit it. So I just got to five. Okay. So we got white rice, well long gray white rice. It doesn't really matter. It's just to stuff the peppers, so Okay. Then we got some cheese. Mozzarella provolone cheese. And then we have regular pomelo by itself, and pepper jack cheese. We got black beans, diced tomatoes, which he got stuff in it, and um, they got garlic and um, oregano, oregano and basil. Yeah, and basil. But okay, and um, some corn. Oh, what you Mexican? Man? Not Mexican. The freaking Mexican so, using corn. I got um, scallops. Uh, uh, scallops. I think these are called scallions. Scallions. Whatever. And then the rest of the green peppers and stuff, I just chopped them up and put them in, put them in here. Mm. And then I got some minced garlic. Uh -huh. I got some chopped up onions that's in here. Then we got the ground beef. This is about almost two pounds of ground beef. Two pounds of ground beef. And then this is all the seasonings I'm going to use. Salt, yeah. Italian seasoning, onion, onion powder, garlic, black pepper. Cumin seasoning, chili powder, and um, I always like to use a little bit of saison. What was that, guys? She said cumin seasoning, bro. I'm cumin seasoning, bro. So, I'm cumin seasoning, bro. I'm cumin what I was to, what I was looking at from a lot of the YouTube videos because I really want to try it is they said that to me to put the peppers in the oven for 10 minutes so the peppers can soften mm -hmm. and then take them out. So I'm gonna put them in the oven for 10 minutes and just take them out. So you leave the bottom of the um the bottom of the uh pepper. Well these set up so I didn't have to cut them. So they they were fine. I only So you don't have to cut the bottom. No, or I don't have to. Oh okay. They sitting. They all sitting like they're supposed to. Okay. If they don't sit, then you cut the bottom a little bit. All right. You going to put no light in there, man? I'm sorry. That's how it looks. So yeah. It's 7.16, so at 7.26, I have to take them out. All right. About to do the seasoning, man? About to season. Um... Pause it, cause I think you should pause that music in the background, cause it's gonna, you're gonna be happy. Dang, man! What the freak? About that. All right, so I'm gonna season up my ground beef. I like to do it this way, and then I'll cook it because some people do it differently. They cook it and cook the seasoning. I prefer to do it this way. Black pepper. Black pepper, my salt. Put some iodized salt, man. Powder. Onion powder, bread. Yeah. Oh God, powder. I don't put a lot of seasoning on the shrimp stuff. I'm not supposed to be eat a lot of this stuff because I break out from it. But to each his own. Season it with. You, you put it as much as you want to. What's Just that? A, Italian seasoning, sorry. Italian seasoning, bruh. Y'all see all them seasonings, bruh? This is the first time I'm using 
cumin and chili powder. I'm not sure, I hope I don't break out because I think I'm allergic to one of them, but I'm not sure which one. So maybe you shouldn't use it then. If well, you think I mean, you're allergic. You to see. That's how I'll figure out what I'm allergic to. How you figure you're allergic to it? Because I have, when I went to the allergist, I'm allergic to, I know I'm, I'm allergic to one of these powder bags. Then they give you a list? You shouldn't do that then. Why would you do put your health on the line? Because it's not like I, I don't break out like, when I eat something, I might break out on my face or something, but it's not bad. As long as I don't use too much of it. Chili powder, I think I'm fine, but it might be the coming seasoning. Cause chili powder, I, I grew up on it, so. You ain't never had no coming seasoning, bro. Uh, coming season is my first time, so we about to find out. But chili powder, my grandmother made everything with chili powder in it, so. Paparito. I put a little bit. I'm not gonna put too much. It already smells nasty. And this look weird, but this is the coming season. I think it evens out the powder, the um, the chili powder. I think that's what it says. Yeah, maybe. Dang, that thing. It's thick, so I don't know. What the freak? It's not coming out? No. I'm up, I'm putting as much as I could. Guys, this wasn't me. They went to the store, so if this was me, everything would be name brand. It is a name brand. No, it's, it's I never heard of Eagle Spice. That don't mean it's not a name no. brand, the freak. It's not the particular name brand I would get. I was looking for McCormick, they ain't have it. Um. You don't have to get McCormick, it could be the other one too. So I think I got But Badia, they ain't have Badia either. I got chili powder, I put Italian seasoning, I put garlic powder, I put salt. So then, I like to shake it in and mush it together. Yeah. Squishy, squishy, sucker. Look at all them seeds, man. I think it's better this way because then anytime like you make a burger or you know like stuff you make with ground beef it's more flavorful than cooking it in the pan mm. to me. I don't know if it's different but this is how I do it. Anytime I do my meat I like to marinate it first before I, I cook it. Alright. I should have used the um what you call that. Guys, she should have used a what you call that? A glove. <laughs> the freaks that like that. A glove. I took my right, my two grays so. out, bro. Looking crazy. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Anyway, I'm going So I put a little. I'm putting a little bit of more of the seasoning. Some garlic powder. Double the seasonings, bro. Yeah, you gotta make sure it gets in there. You want it to be flavorable, right? Double the seasonings. Italian seasoning. But onion. not as much as you did the first yeah, time. Yeah, onion powder. Black pepper. You gotta get some more of this. Chili powder. This coming season. Adding more salt because I already add, I already put saison in it, so that's enough salt. Guys, why do black people always put saison on everything, bro? Not what everybody the uses saison. Like I think that saison gives a better taste to beef and chicken to me. It's certain things. I don't use saison on everything. I just use it on certain meat. Like I don't use it on my lamb. I don't use it on my steaks. Um, all my oxtails or nothing like that. I just use it on like this ground beef. Maybe depending on what I'm making with tur ground turkey or something. Most I need to get sea salt. Sea salt, yeah. We had some, we used it all. Yeah, I need some more. 
I had to do the regular chocolate. I don't really like the regular chocolate. Thing. I like the default one. All right, so this is all put together. All right. Now what? Now I have to brown it. Let's check on clarity, guys. Hey, mama. You chilling? You chilling? You chilling, mamas? Want this? Yeah, she over here chilling, guys. I fed her. She watching freaking Curious George. So she should be good. Let's get back to the food. Putting everything back up. Yeah, I like when I cook well, What's this? I told you that's the scallions, the green pepper, the yellow, all the peppers that I cut the top part of the regular peppers up. I just chopped them up and oh. put them in the bowl. Okay. So we're gonna use that in there. We're just gonna put everything up in there for flavor. Okay. Oh. Got a lot of seasonings up there, baby. Yeah, they say only good cooks have multiple seasonings. I need more to be honest. I'm running out of seasonings. All them seasonings, bruh. No kiss it, bruh. Let's see what she do when she put it in the pot. No cap. All right, guys. So she took the peppers out. They still a little hard. So like they said, like I should keep them in there another five minutes when it's like this. Because they're supposed to be soft. So put them back in. They soft a little bit, but not much where they need to be, so we're gonna put them in for five more minutes. Five more minutes in the oven, bruh. Yeah. All right, now I'm gonna take... Stuffed peppers, guys. I'm excited. This is my first time I'm gonna eat this tree, bruh. My ground beef. Look at that ground beef, bruh. That's the beef, bruh. Alright, I'm going to let this simmer a little. When you're making these, you should have them on medium low. Because, because since I have to uh, put other seasonings in it, I don't want it to um, Overcooked. So you're going to add the peppers and stuff inside of that? Yeah. What about the rice? We get there to that part. Don't don't rush it down. I'm just asking. Alright, so this is my mashed up onions. Just going to take it. They're like cream, bro. It's okay. It's, it's onions. It's mashed up. It's like, it's mish onions. It's the same thing, but it's just onions. They really like some applesauce. It's not apple, it's just the onions. Some white cream, bro. I got this new chopper, so it chops them up very fine. Right. Get to the chopper, now! Get to the chopper, now! Get to the chopper, now! That's gonna be funny for the video. <laughs> Uh, look at this, bro. That look like jizz sauce, man. Yeah. I just took a big jizz, bro. I'm gonna take it. Mix it in there with it. This is different. I ain't never seen no cooking like this before. This is gonna be very interesting. And as that cook down. Right, I'm gonna let that cook down for about two, two minutes, and then I'm gonna add my other stuff. 
no cap. Okay. Okay. Peppers out, y'all. Okay. Just salt. Hey, good money? Yeah. Guys, we're gonna literally stuff these with more food. I'm excited. Look at that. It's pretty, man. No kissy. It kind of played me on the meat. Because I tried to make sure I got more of the meat than the fat. Putting some garlic in there, Jim. Yeah, I'm gonna take a tablespoon of garlic to the food like this. I'm trying to wait for all of this to go through so I can put the other stuff in it. But it got so much water in it. Yeah. It's the first time I ever had the ground beef that does this. Yeah, that shit. That's some wet ground beef, bro. Uh -huh. So with that, bro. Because the onions really don't got nothing to do with it. It's just the, um, it's like the water and stuff. I don't know. But I'm going to drain it one more time. We got to drain this beef. No cap. All right, guys, so she added all them peppers and stuff in here. I didn't get to catch her when she did it, but look how flavorful that looks, guys. It just got so much water. water. I mean, well, normally if when you get beef, that's what it is. It's a lot of the fat drain off, but I tried to got the, I got the one that shouldn't be draining with a whole bunch of water, but they lied on the package. About to make some rice, bro. guys. Ain't it crazy that little bit of rice right here that fat in that cup can can feed literally two people or more? Oh, she said four people. Oh, she put more rice in there. This is like Mexican style or something, bruh. Um, what the freak is that guy? I guess you can call it What's that? Oh, tom tomato. She's about to put some tomatoes in there, babe. Yeah, this is definitely Mexican style, babe. I don't like tomatoes, but I'm trying it because I've seen the guy use it in the video. Come see. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. 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 You know it's alright to just add your own your own hook to it, right? Yeah, I did. You ain't had to put tomatoes. I did add my own hook, but I still want to know how it tastes with because mostly everybody had diced tomatoes. You don't eat tomatoes. Yeah, but it's okay. That's the point of trying new things. It's gonna be cooked though. I don't really care. It's cooked because it's like um He said he added a lot of people added tomato paste. I don't really want that in my I ain't adding that. But this is gonna be some freaking Mexican style back. Kiki 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 I mean it smells good. It do smell good, I ain't gonna lie. If I could smell this, look at all the, look at the fumes coming out yeah, of there. I add a little bit, just cause I don't like it like that, so I just, you know, trying it out. You see it's starting to come together. I left the water in it on a simple back up. I don't want to keep taking out the flavor. And mm, we stuffing it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, but you don't want no wet shit though. Yeah, like at the end probably. Not gonna be like what you think it is. Then I let that simmer for about two to three minutes. 
Got the I rice cooking. I don't know if you can um save these afterwards. Probably not. Just throw it away. Cause I never used um diced tomatoes. Throw them away. Yeah. Give me. But if y'all let me know, cause I'm throwing it away now. But if I can, let me know. Yeah, I got it. Once you open the can, that's it. Be right back. No kippity cap cap cap. All right, guys. So she says she's adding corn. Oh, no, oh she adding black beans first. I Black beans, but drain them, wow. I mean, I don't want to stay already. I don't think you drained them. This is a concoction, bruh. No cap. You hear Clary, that's her over there. My daughter going crazy right now watching Curious George, bruh. Check it out. I don't know, she talking to the TV or what, guys? Whatever, back to the food. Right. It's gonna be interesting, guys. That is a concoction, man. No cap. All right, guys. She getting the corn now, man. They said frozen corn. I don't have frozen corn, so I'm using what I got. Gotta drain them corn, man. Gotta drain them corn, man. Drain them cone, bruh. Look at all that, bruh. What the freak? Uh -oh. What? Oh, look at the rise. You tripping. You not watching the race? Now we're gonna add the corn. Only put in a little bit. I should have put this in the big pot. What? The um, meat and stuff. Wow. Good, right? I don't know if the rice is going to fit in here. Alright. I have to put it on low heat now. Yeah. This is how it's starting to look. They want to look odd, but it look good to me. I don't know, that, that meat looking a little red. It's not red though, it's 
cook, well done cooked. There's no red in there. You seen tomato, you see everything else. Where the hell you see red in the meat? I don't know, bruh. I think you're just making that up. I'm not making it up, I'm looking. Well, okay, we gonna see when it's done. So that's so far, then after that, Letting the rice after the rice finished, I'm gonna add the rice into it to this, and then we're gonna stuff the peppers. All right, guys. So we're gonna wait until she adds the rice, and then we're gonna go to the stuffed pepper bread and see what it's here for. BSD King. What? And we'll be right back. No cap, 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 cap. All right, guys. So the rice is done. I'm gonna put as much as I can because this pot's kind of small. I didn't think about it. So let's see how much we can fit in here. It all should be able to fit. And then whatever we have access, I think we can make, we're can we gonna make a burrito out of it. And get some tortillas, the, the soft tart tortillas. Save the meat. And we're gonna make. Um, I get that corn over there, baby. Yeah. Meet me in the lobby. Ooh. All right, I think I could add the rest of the rice. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. Let's go to my room and have a party. I'm about to set the mood to get it started. Like this is going to fill us up for real off one. This is a lot. It's supposed to. Hear the volunteer. Oh. Couple shots of the in the to come through now. Come through. My, my daughter's getting impatient because we're not paying her any attention. Be back when them things stuck. No cap. All right, guys. So we about to hit the stuff process. I have clarity in my hand right now. She was going crazy. Say hi, baby. Say hi, mama. Say hi. Say hi, mama. <laughs> Say hi. Hey, how you doing? All right. Let's get these things stuck. All right. So you see, I have more. The access will be just. We're gonna make burritos or something tomorrow for lunch. So I'm gonna take some meat. I'm gonna start stuffing them. Yeah. Stuff them things. Stuff it. <laughs> now they say fill it up all the way to the top. I think I need. I wait. I made too much. But it's okay. Alright. Stuff them joints, break. What's wrong, baby? Like, tell him, you're not paying me no. She probably want to look at that Curious George. Yeah, but I had her over there and she ain't want to. You want to watch Curious, baby? What you spitting for? Look at you. Spitty make spittles. Uh. Here. See you in a few. Let's go look at these stuff. The joints, man. Ooh. Mm. Okay. 
Ooh. Huh? I taste good. Come off my finger. Good. Y'all think she capping? You want to try it? You wanna Not now. It? I want to wait. I'm excited. I can't wait. Look at her going crazy. Okay, Clarity, we coming. She going to um. So you gonna put them in the oven, right? Yeah, for 30 minutes. So she's gonna put them in the oven and then we're gonna see the final result, guys. Stay tuned. No cap. All right, guys. Time to put them in. All right, so I added pep the pepper jack cheese and the mozzarella and parmesan cheese on top. Pepper jack and mozzarella and provolone. Yeah, provolone. Look at those, guys. Those look fire. Okay, this is my first time. I've been wanting Kid. to make these for about a month. A kinda... month? Yeah. You been watch that guy longer than a month. Well, I've been what I've been. I don't know. I've been watching cooking things. Um, lately, I don't know. Now, how long you gotta leave them drinks in there? For thirty minutes. Twenty five to thirty minutes. I'm leaving them in for twenty five minutes because I left the 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 um the peppers in like um, five minutes more than the first time, so I don't want them to be too, too short. All right, guys. So it's eight oh four, and we will be back. 8.34 or so. No. Capity, cap, cap, cap. Alright guys, so she... Look how the left one fell. But that's the end result. End result. Oh. Uh, look pretty good. That one fell over. Yeah. But it's still melted cheese. Like you're you're so we're gonna um I'm actually gonna feed my daughter first and then we're gonna get a taste test. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna wrap it up guys. Mm -hmm. I, thought it was honest, but I, I think that'd be good for my first time. So we're gonna see how it tastes. But it really Close it out. Oh. Wait. 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 We're gonna come back. We gonna come back. Just put your hand over the camera. Alright guys. Just put clarity to sleep. Stuff peppers, right? I didn't get a fork. I got a spoon. I smoked it. Yeah, but I'm gonna just shine it. It's hot still, right? Yeah. It's good. Mm -hmm. What kind of flavor is it like it has? I know you put a lot of stuff in it, but. Well, you can taste everything. Everything? The tomatoes the corn, and everything? The beans, the tomatoes, everything. Taste it. Right. I'm gonna taste it, guys. It's really good. I'm, I'm kind of proud of myself. I want a fork. Want we'll take a fork then. I'll just put a spoon because I'm messy, so. You can eat the pepper, right? Yeah, you can eat the pepper. That's why I get you a cup. I just want to, you know, give it as a taste test. If you can't do it with that knife, get another knife. I think somebody likes it. Yeah. Now, come on, stop playing. Just give a real serious. <sighs> he just got to do the most. It's good. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good, guys. Got good flavor. I like the cheese. The cheese make you do that. I'm excited, guys. This is good. This is the first time. Did a good job. That was a whack five. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, guys. So this is the end of the video. 
I need y'all guys to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos, more vlogs, more challenges, more pranks. No kissing, bruh. BXD King. And I'm a high.